Hello, Gemini eyes. Welcome to Visions of Light and Love. This is your reading for the week of July 1st through July 7th. This reading is for all of the Geminis out there, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If you are a returning viewer, welcome back. If this is your first time stopping by, welcome to Visions of Light and Love. Again, this reading is for all of the Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If you like my energy, my vibe, you feel like I am the reader for you, you want to show some support to the channel, hit the subscription link along with the notification bell, the thumbs up image, to help this video circulate. If you need a private reading, the link is in the description box. I do have two slots open for the month of July. I am giving away two free readings for the month of July. In order to be considered, you have to subscribe to the channel like this video and comment in the comment section to let me know you are here. Okay, Gemini's, with that being said, we are going to start your reading. Okay. All right. So we have the Ace of Cups, Ace of Cups, Page of Wands in the reverse. Ace of Cups, Page of Wands in the reverse. We have the Five of Cups. I'm hearing someone is getting on your nerve. <laughs> Don't ask me why, but that's what I'm hearing. Someone is getting on your nerves. We have the Hangman here. Pisces Energy. Two of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles. The Two of Swords. So you have a decision to make. There's a decision on the table. Someone is getting on your nerve. Could possibly be pertaining to this decision that I see. We have the moon card. Okay, the sun card. Could be dealing with a Leo or have Leo in your chart. And we have the three of wands. Knight of cups at the end or bottom of the deck. Okay. So, and remember in tarot, the energies could be vice versa. This could be you. This could be your partner. I'm seeing someone coming in like a knight in shining armor. They may be coming in bearing gifts. Coming in, showing you how much they love you. This person could be good looking, could have dark features, could be a charmer, could be drinking wine, eating food, reading little love letters to each other, could be on the beach, looking at the sunset. Comment below, let me know. This could be a new beginning in love for you, a new person. Could have possibly started or began a new union because someone from your that you used to deal with your ex was not giving enough enough in this situation could have been breadcrumbing you and now this person with this five of cups could be disappointed and crying over spilled milk because they weren't given enough And they caused this union to be stuck. And it could have possibly be, been because they were juggling you and someone else. With their hangman and two of pentacles. And with this two of swords, you blocked them. And you made a decision to move forward because I feel like you were left in the dark. You were, you were in a certain Cancer Pisces energy. You were uncertain about that union. And with the sun card, you um, 
You waited for something to be illuminated to you. You waited for something to be illuminated to you. And I feel like it was illuminated to you. Now you have a new beginning in love here. This, this last person made you feel, um, kept you in the dark about a lot of things. And you moved away. You made a conscious decision to move away from that person. You put an end to that situation. And you started something new. And now you have new love here. You have new love here. Okay. Yeah. You made that decision required you to have strength and courage to move forward and to move on from that, that person. Mm -hmm. Because things were unbalanced. Could have been with the Sagittarius. Things were unbalanced in that situation. You got tired of feeling alone, tired of feeling bored, tired of feeling discontent, tired of feeling like this person was breadcrumbing you. And you said, no, I don't want a new stable beginning with you. I want something new. I want something new. Mm -hmm. This person didn't see your worth, and that's why things were stuck. They didn't see your worth. They, they left you in the dark. They kept you stuck. This person kept you stuck, kept the relationship stuck. So guess what you did? Put an end to it. However, with every end, there's a new beginning. You put an end to it, and now look what you have. The two of cups, someone that you can see eye to eye with. There's reciprocity, give and take. There's love. You two, um, it's the yin and yang. Things are being nurtured. This relationship is being nurtured. It's growing. Taurus, Libra energy. And this person doesn't mind taking action. They don't mind taking action towards you for stability of this union. Because they don't want you to be in the dark. Yeah. Healing. Hoping for the best. Look at this. For stability here. Honesty. Communication. Because you walked away from that past person. Now you can work on something new. Now you can work on... You could have met this person at work or through someone that you work with, a friend or an associate. But this person is a leader. They take control of the situation. Could be a father or a mother. This could lead to marriage with the Emperor and Empress card as well as the Four of um, Wands is here. This could definitely lead to a marriage with this Fool card. You're on a new journey. You don't know where things are going or how they're going to end up, but you're you're on it. Aries, Aries energy is here. Aquarius energy is here. Yeah. And now someone is up at night thinking about this because you moved your energy away. You blocked them and guarded them. And now they're up at night thinking about what are you doing and who with who. That's, they, they may want a reconciliation. This person wants to reconcile. They could be thinking about having sex with you as well. This person, these cards are getting stuck. Could be thinking about having sex. Mm -hmm. But they're up in their head. They know that you're not going to take them back. That's what it is. That's why they haven't come back in. This person knows, yeah. They know that they cause some kind of heartbreak. So they're not going to come back in. This Queen of Cups wanted, wanted to come out. She came out again. They know that you found a new love and that you've moved on. You've moved on. Left them in the past where they belong.
What is that? Okay, here we go. Yeah. You're, you took a risk on a new love. You took a risk. Mm-hmm. On a new love. This person thinks could be um you could be really attracted to this person. Um dating and things changed in a blink of an eye. And this person didn't see that. And now things are ascending quickly between you and this other person. So I'm going to leave it at that, Gemini's. This is your reading for the week of July 1st through the 7th. Comment below. Let me know if this is your story. Share, like, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Be safe. I'm sending you love, light, peace, and healing energy. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to, if you want to be considered for the free reading, subscribe to the channel. Hit that thumbs up image and comment below. Enjoy the rest of your week and I will see you next time. Bye.